means one unique digit so all should be like same itself now we have to return the maximum good integer as a string so maximum good integer as string or empty string if there is no such integer exists so if you look on the example itself we ultimately want one thing we want a substring which is of length three and should have all same characters ultimately so what we can do is we can have three three substrings okay i will have these three as a substring and i'll just say if all these are same no all these are not same cool no worries move on have a simple sliding window approach i'll go on to the next and then i'll ask bro are these same no bro are these same no oh yeah bro are the same yeah these are same okay so right now i can say my answer can be seven but ultimately remember i want the maximum good integer so maybe i can update that with number eight or nine let's see uh, i'll have this as next okay no worries i'll have this as next okay no worries i'll have this as next okay no worries no, like no like none of them are being same so no worries quick keep on moving i have this next all these are same length is three for sure it can be a candidate so i'll try to update okay three but i already have a better answer which is seven so i'll not update that seven keep it as it is okay move on next again it's a th i have seven move on next okay it's a like nothing is there so my answer is a seven and that is actually your answer itself which is seven 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 so one thing what you could have done naturally was keep on grabbing firstly you will go on to let's say if i i will start with my i equal to zero i equal to one i equal to i'll start with my i equal to twoth index which is this index and i'll check for i equal to 1 i equal to 0 which means i minus 1 i minus 2 if i am at i the next i check for i minus 1 and i minus 2 and check if it is the same as that of the i th index value if yes then i will try to grab that particular string itself grab that particular string of size 3 and then i can store that in my answer let's say i have this answer as string and i'll try to maximize this string value itself you can just simply do that now one and this will for sure work because your constraints are pretty low and it's just o of n like you are just going on to all the numbers o of n and you are just having this string and you're just comparing the string itself with the let's say if i grabbed i was here so i'll just have a string as 777 then i'll be here i'll compare the string as 333 or you can also in turn place a character or a number and then compare that itself that also will work which means i can go and say i will just try to bring the maximum number i will compare in the same way i compare my i with i minus one and i minus two if it is same then i'll get the only maximum number whatsoever is in the entire string now the maximum number i got is a number seven and then just repeat that three times and that will be your answer here in this case you will see 0, 0, 0 is the only one which is repeating so answer is 0, 0, 0. as simple as that here you see nothing is repeating so answer is empty so by default i can assume that my character like that my final answer or my character is minus one let's say my character answer equal to minus one and then i can just maximize my answer maximize my answer just do a maximize of this of your answer and simply get your answer itself and when you have got your maximum answer if it is minus one then return an empty string else return the string which you have which is of length three which you want specifically with this character as answer and that will be your answer so this is how you can easily solve it again uh, it's a very easy question it's just that there are multiple ways to approach it first way is to compare all the substrings as an answer or you compare the character only as an answer and then ultimately in the end you make a string out of that character so as we saw that we will have character um, answer now initially i can just initialize that with minus one uh, we will see if that works if not then we can initialize with zero also that also will work for us now we will just go on to the entire uh, of our array which is for int i equals to so i have zero and one so i start from two i is less than nums dot like num dot size and i plus plus now i'll check if if my num of i is equals to num of i minus one and also num of num of i is equals to uh, num of i minus two if that is the case 
only then I can say that uh, I can take this particular substring which has all characters as equal. So I'll just say uh, maximum of answer comma because I want the maximum character value. So I'll just take num of this value i. Now ultimately in the end um, I can simply say that if my answer is still a minus one then bro please return an empty string else you can simply go and make a string of length three with this character as answer and simply return that. Let's go and try and run this. So yeah, we have got the test cases and with this you can easily get the solved. Cool. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.